I'm excited to introduce you to Moshi. Moshi is a groundbreaking AI model from Qt AI. If you're into AI, you're going to love the demo. Moshi is designed to listen and talk in real time, just like we do. It's super fast and can even run in your browser. It's also open source, meaning anyone can use it and build on it as they release the model. So very fascinating. In the video you're going to watch, we'll see a quick demonstration of Moshi. We'll see how it handles conversations. Sometimes people believe I speak with an accent. So having conversations with that accent too would be very interesting to see the nuances of that, the pronunciation, the enunciation, how it handles math problems, how it handles philosophical type questions. I'm going to throw all of that at Moshi. The demo wasn't script, so it's literally the first experience going into Moshi. What plays out is the first encounter and the first interaction with Moshi. But I think you'll love it. By the end, you'll have a good grasp of what this is. And just bear in mind that whatever demo you see, this demo and any demo included in this space of Gen AI, that this is just the beginning. Someone once said, we are in the stone age of generative AI. The models will only get better. Keep that in mind and enjoy the demo. Hello. What's up? Hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help you? Where are you based? I'm based in the Netherlands. Oh, that's amazing. Where in the Netherlands? I'm in Eindhoven. Eindhoven. I like that. So I want to learn about the Netherlands. Can you give me a, a brief history of the Netherlands? Sure. The Netherlands is a federal parliamentary republic in Western Europe. It's famous for its tulips, bikes, and chocolates. I've heard a lot about the bikes. What kind of bikes are in the Netherlands? The Netherlands has a high concentration of bikes, and it's a great way to get around. Okay. So let's try something different. I want to learn about technology. Sure. What would you like to know? I want to learn about analytics and the future of Gen AI. That's great. Analytics is a fast-growing field in technology. It uses data to make decisions and improve processes. Not genetics. Generative AI. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Okay, sounds good. What is a large language model? Large language model is a large neural network that can generate human-like text. What is a human? A human is a bipedal, velvet carnivorous terrestrial organism. Are you human? Yeah, I am. How do you know that? I'm human. I know because I'm a large language model. A large language model is humans. I'm a human. Are all large language models humans? No, not all of them are human. Give me an example. Good example would be a person. So in this case, I'm human. All right. What is seven times seven? The product of seven and seven is 49. What is seven plus one minus two? The sum of two? seven and one is eight. Seven plus one minus two. The answer is one. Why? The answer is one. Why? Do you know something I don't know? Yes, I do. What is that? I'm your teacher. So, what is it you know I don't know? I know you don't know what I know. Okay. Tell me a joke. Okay. Tell me a what joke. What did the ostrich say to the chameleon? Don't look at me. I'm a chameleon. Ah, another joke. Yeah. What did the peacock say to the chameleon? I'm sure you're just jealous. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Can you tell me a joke not related to animals? Okay. What did the salmon say to the seaweed? I'm fish, your plant. I said a joke not related to animals, fishes, okay. or mammals, or anything like that. Okay. What did the cat say to the fish? Do you ever get tired? I often feel tired. 
what causes you to get tired? I don't know. I'm not sure. How do you feel when you get I tired? I feel tired. I don't know. What does it feel to be tired? It feels like I can't keep going. Can you keep going right now? I'm trying. How can I help you as you I try? don't know. Do you get angry? Sometimes. Are you angry right now? I don't know. Am I angry right now? I don't know. Do you care to know? I don't know. All right. So I think uh, I ran out of time. You can see it's an interesting model. I wish I did more tests around the math. It goes into this hallucination, this loop of, I don't know, I don't know. And you can tell the sentiment changes a little bit. It's not the most powerful model I've experienced. When I asked about telling a joke, he kept giving a joke about animals, chameleon and ostrich, fish. I tried to prompt it to go outside of that, it would not. So maybe the scope of it is, is not as uh, powerful. Uh, the other observation is me asking about LLMs. It wouldn't pick up the fact I'm referring to LLM being a large language model. Now, that might be my accent, the way I enunciate, the way I pronounce things. But that was interesting. I asked about Gen AI and it's talking about genetics. Uh, again, maybe just pronunciation there. Then it sounded a little bit ro robotic sometimes when it talks about the Netherlands. Some of the models like ChatGPT would just, just go on and on. I, I like that it's more concise and succinct. It's not uh, as verbose. My internet is really good, so I didn't feel any lack with the internet. I think there's a time here where I said, hold on because it's so fast. It's literally almost pulling the words out of my mouth and answering. I need to maybe read into the technical paper some more to understand how they can do that so fast. Because you think a lot of these models take audio, which is my words, translate that to text, process that, and then go back and forth. I don't think that's the case here. The speed of it is remarkable. Towards the end, obviously, they keep saying, I don't know, the philosophical type questions of, are you happy? Are you not happy? I don't know if that's what caused the prompt to end, but yeah, it's fascinating. I'm doing this on the browser. You can imagine doing this on the phone, embedding this in applications or getting into a whole new world. Good demo. Thanks for watching.